hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i am going to talk about your comments i will be answering your questions in today's video but before that i will be talking about the ios 18.5 so i will be talking about the new features and the release date so if you are interested in you can you know learn about ios 18.5 if you are not interested, you can skip this and you can go to your comments. The timestamps are given down over here. Well, without any further delay, let's get dive into this video. And let's start with the first session of this video and that is going to be about iOS 18.5. Now starting with, let's see what features are coming. Getting into the main app, tapping on these three dots. Now there will be show contact photos available over here. You can turn off the contact photos right from here and you know, bring them back if you want to. Well, this feature was there before, but now it is integrated into a mail app. Quite useful. Also, when you are into your settings, you can go to accessibility. From here, you can go to touch, go all the way down to the back tab. Now, there is a show banner option available. So, if you like do something, for example, I'm going to do maybe camera over here and double tap. And as you can see, there is a banner on the top. I don't know if it's gonna be very useful for you guys but for me it is not that useful and being very honest i am not into back tap feature much but this is a small change that is also coming with the ios 18.5 also when you are in your settings you go to journal you go to apple care and Rundi. now there is a top section available into this setting uh, like apple care and Rundi. that is like you no know, giving the details about the what the setting is all about now this was available in different settings but now it is also available in the apple care and warranty so small ui change here too also there is a new wallpaper this time around so if i go to over here maybe tap and hold and add a new wallpaper right from here there is a new wallpaper available in the bright section over here this is the how wallpaper looks like for from here there is no combination available but if you do done and you go to choose the wallpaper now there is like different animation available as you can see it changes the animation every single time as you can see over here it may be look good for you maybe not it depends upon you but this is a new wallpaper available see if there's a dark version of this i don't see much of the difference i can be like there's no difference at all so yeah this is just the new wallpaper data is over here so these are some of the things that are available with the ios 18.5 so 18.5 itself is not a big update but there are a lot of enhancement battery life is really good everything so far is really really good so i really like think that finally ios 18 is getting into a shape and 18.5 is going to be a really really good stable update now it's time to talk about your comments let's see what you guys comment let me get into the app over here so over here these are your comments as you can see okay so starting with the first one nice thank you so much um i don't know what is trying to say over here hey i was guy did you figure out what wrong with your video camera problem i don't think it's a software well you know i posted a video in which i talk about the issue regarding the camera i am still haven't figured out that um if i go and you know just check okay now it is working i don't know what happened now it is working as you can see and now the timer is working perfectly so yeah i think it was a bug and it got okay now it is not working okay so still there is a bug as you just saw it was working and now it is not working so i don't know what is on like now it is not working as you can see yeah so yeah I think it's a software bug. It doesn't make sense if it's it's not a hardware bug, I guess. I think it's a software bug. So I hope it the when the 18.5 public will come out, it get fixed. iPhone 16 Pro here still not really good Apple intelligence features. Um Apple intelligence is you know what Apple promised. Everything is not out yet. Few features are out like image wand, image playground, you know, this Apple. Um, AI, I really like this one. I really use. Um, I use a lot of this one. I also use Cat GPT actual app and also this one. But yeah, all features are not properly out yet. Do you think iOS 6 18.6 beta one will out on the same week after 18.5 public release? 
I think yes. I think if 18.5 is coming uh, on Monday, we might see another beta. But if it doesn't come on Monday, maybe on Tuesday, we might not see. But if it is coming on Monday, I think we're going to get the new 18.6 beta 1 update. Do you think that there will be a new update for RC users too? I think there would be because, you know, I'm using RC update and I am facing camera issue, camera path. 99% sure it's coming this Monday. Yes, I'm pretty sure about that too. Will this RC be the original if there's no more beta updates? Will I still able to update to the original when it comes and will I get the update? Well, this is not confirmed yet, being very honest, because there is a bug in the RC. And I think there should be another update when the actual update comes out. But let's see. I have 18.5 RC now on iPhone 12. But no problem with that. Um, what you showed us about video not taken for me. Yeah, it might be working for you. No, but when it comes to bugs, it is not about like if I'm having any sort of bug, you must be having that bug. You know, it can be like bug only for the iPhone 16 or only for the specific iPhone because every iOS is designed for the specific iPhone. They are not much iPhones, you know. They are just like a couple of iPhones, like iPhone 16, 15, 14. This is not like Android. Like there are tons of Android that they need to, you know, rely on a universal kind of Android. So yeah, this is the thing. And I personally think that if you're not facing it, it you know, maybe another person facing that same problem on, the, on any other iPhone, not sure. But I think it will get fixed. Do you want RC2? Um, No, it's there's no time left in RC2. I think it, you know, the next update is going to be the public release. First viewer, thank you so much. Worldin, by the way. Haha. <laughs> I literally use it all the time while charging. Okay, thank you so much. By the way, I posted this video um, just to, you know, help you guys you um, keep your battery 100% for a much longer time. I'm still on 18.2.1 on my iPhone 11. Do you recommend me to update to 18.5 RC? Never go for the RC if you're using a public release. Wait for the 18.5 public. Honestly, 18.5 is a much better update. I tested every other update for uh, like I tested 18.2.1, 18.2, whatever. 18.5 is so far going really good. But I will suggest you to wait for the public release. Why didn't you show the, the new Pride World? Well, I did now. But that video was about the battery life. So this is why I didn't show. Not just the battery life. Everything and every single issue people are having. Yeah, 18.4.1 is not that good update being very honest. Um, if I download it, need for RC, this is the same question he asked. Um, iPad OS 17.7.7 ruined the ability to pinch and zoom on the iPad in YouTube. I am not happy. I am not sure about that because I don't use iPad, but still, I am, I am, I'm not sure that if OS, you know, removed any YouTube feature, maybe you can update YouTube or maybe YouTube removed that, not sure that. I love it is kind of banned, so yeah. So these were some of your comments. But I'm excited for the upcoming update. Hope you be yeah, it is a battery smooth. Yes, so yes, can also. Anyways, well, this is all from your comments, and I hope you like this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe the channel for more videos like this. I will be doing more stuff, and yeah, see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.